What would we actually like life to be like? And the thing that excites me about being in a group like this is that I really get that we are in, a, in, a, in an actual global community of people who go, yeah, well, how could we do it differently? But if you're going to operate a business, uh, you're creating wealth. And what I would say is that the first thing you, you need is an audience. Um, and I mean, there could be other words. It could be a target market. It could be prospects. It could be. But what I mean is, people out there who want what it is that you're offering. If you haven't got that, you know, and you're trying to g it up, um, the chances of, of 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 it actually turning into a successful business are very, very remote. I mean, it does happen once in a million times. But even when it happens, very often it's not the person who pioneered it that actually gets the benefit. It's the people who came on later. Yep. The second thing you need is a means of communicating with them. And the third thing you need is something that, uh, that fulfills their needs. And when you think about that, you might like to think back to that diagram we just did earlier. Uh, about the, the Maslow hierarchy of needs. And, and just look at your target market and see which level are the needs that, that you want to articulate a solution for. And then you need a product that in some way or shape or form addresses that need. And finally, you need a marketing process to connect them to it. Anybody got any comments about that? I mean, it's one of those things that once it's articulated, it's kind of obvious. But before it is, you get this happening all the time, that people get some wild enthusiasm and they rush out and they do it. So one of the things that the internet allows you to do is it allows you in an incredibly short space of time, you know, maybe half an hour, but certainly a day or two, to actually identify um, whether there is an audience, whether you can communicate with them, and what their needs are. And if you do that first, you can then find some other things about while, while you're in this process. You can find the sort of language they use to describe it. So that when you come to design your product, you can express that product within the language that they use. When you come to market it, you can phrase your marketing communications in a way that aligns with that language.